okay now what we're going to do is we're going to stick glue the the two halves of the sheath together and we're going to be making sure that the holes align when we've actually done it okay so in in your uh, kit you'll get a, um, a contact adhesive like this um, it's a good strong glue um, use it very thinly on both sides what i'll use instead of opening that one i will use the glue exactly the same glue it's a contact adhesive this is just for my workshop and we make a thin layer just brushing it on and you can see the color change that means that the glue is being absorbed into the leather itself which is really what we're after make sure that when you put the glue on you get right to the edges and especially the inside edge because that's the most important part of the gluing gluing the weld like that okay and make sure that we get lots of glue on the inside here because that's where it's gonna the two halves of the sheath are going to actually bond and get lots of glue in there into all the nooks and crannies and then we're going to glue the other side now you see that it's actually been marked where the glue line wants to be again get lots of glue in uh, especially up to that glue line and perhaps just a fraction over if you need be just in case there's a little error in how the two halves fit together when glued so don't worry about getting glue on this part on the thread that will just help it stick in place when it's all dried so now you put glue on what we've got to do, because it's a contact adhesive, we've actually got to let it go tacky. Um, so that basically that means just letting it dry for five or ten minutes until when you touch it, it's just slightly tacky to the touch. And that way when we close the two halves together, they'll instantly bond. And I'll give you a few hints and tips on the best way of aligning the holes when we actually come to glue that part together. So we'll pause the tape and give it five minutes to actually become tacky. Okay, it's uh, spent about five minutes just becoming slightly tacky. So what we're going to do is we're going to align the two holes at the top. Now if we use the awl and poke the awl through, both holes like that we know that the those two are actually going to be aligned so all you do at that point is just squeeze those two together and then go to the next hole poke it through squeeze those two together next hole poke it through squeeze those two together so the better we have the three pieces of leather aligning at the top the simpler the next process will be when we come to sand the surfaces now if you want to go a little bit faster do every second hole and make sure that the top are nice and aligned squeeze them together and go down here I'm doing the third hole but being very careful to align the top and just keep going down the whole length of the sheath aligning the holes and then squeezing them together like that. Okay. now as you're coming around to the belly of the the sheath just take a little bit more time and care over it and make sure that if the two don't quite a line up like there that we're actually going to be stretching the bottom part of the sheath so it does align properly so just keep coming around the belly of it aligning the holes and anywhere there's a little gap just 
push it up a little bit. Make sure on the last hole that that comes through and that fits. Just squeeze that into place and then make sure that that's all squeezed together and all the holes actually align. So if we're looking through, we'll see that all the holes align. <clears throat> and then what we want to do is put the sheath down and really, really press hard all the way along so that that contact adhesive really makes a good bond inside. If you've got a clean hammer, which is clean, so there's no oil on it, you can actually hammer it so we make sure that there's a good strong bond. That's not essential, so I didn't include it in the kit, but that's what I would use. So basically, we've bonded the three pieces together, all the holes are aligned, and then the next process will be to actually sand both of uh, uh, sand this edge so that it all lines up nice and properly. And then we can stitch it.